how this player moved from the NBA to the NFL for 1.5 million. Every young athlete's dream is to make it into the pro scene. When you're a young athlete anywhere in the world, breaking into the major leagues is an extremely difficult goal that, in most situations, is more of a fantasy than a possibility. The statistics show how slim the odds are of an athlete making the NBA, NFL, and MLB. First, to give you an insight into how you can make it into the pro scenes, we'll break down the odds of your chances of making it into Major League Baseball. Roughly 40 high school students try out for their varsity team, with only 20 making the roster. That's a 50% chance of making the high school team. There are roughly 22,000 high schools in the United States. Overall, 440,000 students play high school baseball. There are only 289 Division I schools that have baseball in the United States, and they are limited to 35 players on a roster. Only 2.3% of high school baseball players go to a Division I school to play. Of those that make it to college, only 6.3% will get drafted. Out of the 6.3% to get drafted, only 17.6% make it to the MLB. In simpler terms, out of 440,000 high school baseball players, only 200 make it to the MLB. That's a 0.45% chance of making it from high school baseball to the MLB. The odds of a high school baseball player making it to the MLB are about 1 in 2,200. For football players, the U.S. population of high school athletes is nearly 1.1 million. Roughly 853 players, or 0.00075%, make the pros each year. To put that into perspective, that's about the odds of getting struck by lightning at some point in your life. Everyone, basketball fan or not, knows that getting to the NBA is tough. Really, really tough. In terms of numbers, about 3 out of 10,000 male high school basketball players will be drafted into the NBA, or about 0.03%. That's the reality for all athletes who want to go pro someday. This suggests that only the best of the best succeed. After all, you need to be exceptional to reach the pinnacle of your sport. Unbelievable as it may seem, there are athletes who have achieved professional status in more than one sport. Just think of some legendary athletes like Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Danny Ainge, and others like them who have competed effectively in the highest levels of two different sports. However, most of those connections are between basketball and baseball, or between football and baseball. Only two athletes in the history of professional sports have ever been able to compete in both the NBA and the NFL. This is not surprising given that the skills necessary to play basketball and football are completely different from one another. These two sports do not combine particularly well. The proof can be found in the fact that only two athletes we mentioned earlier that played both sports were active in the mid-1940s and early 1950s. Otto Graham and Bud Grant were the only two names to achieve this impressive feat. Graham, who played his entire career for three more wins. What a way for a franchise to start. But before he made an impressive career in football, Graham played professional basketball for one season as a backup guard for the Rochester Royals and now Sacramento Kings. After serving in the US Navy during World War II, his team won the 1946 
National Basketball League Championship. Next. Although a first round draft choice of the Philadelphia Eagles in 1950, Bud Minneapolis Lakers of the NBA. Bud Grant decided to play basketball and was a 22 year old, 6 foot 3, 195 pound forward who played for two years with the Lakers and won the NBA title each year. In 1951, Bud turned to pro football with the Eagles. He played on defense as a rookie and then became was a long time ago. Until recently, Mark Vital happened. If you don't follow college basketball, you probably haven't heard of Mark Vital. Yet his name will go down in history. Let's play full court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. Mark Vital's NBA NFL journey. Mark grew up in Louisiana. He was a freak athlete from the time he was a child, even displaying flashes of his raw athleticism when he was still in middle school. That alone propelled him to be one of the generation's best high school basketball players, and he finally signed with the highly regarded basketball program at Baylor University. There, Vital became an integral piece of the team. As a result of his performance there, Vital became a legend, and Baylor University went on to win the 2021 NCAA Championship. The next step was imminent, as Vital declared for the NBA Draft. Despite missing out on the draft, he was quickly added to the Blazers' Summer League roster afterward. It wasn't a smooth ride for Vital, and his experience could have been better as he only got to suit up for three games and contributed little in any of them. He averaged just 11 minutes in each of the three games he played and finished having grabbed four rebounds per game and 1.3 points. Seeing little hope for his future, Vital took a radical detour by signing with the Seattle Seahawks as a tight end. An NFL team. It's a stunning turn of events, given Vital last played football when he was 13 years old in middle school. As a result, Vital became the only athlete in the past seven decades to sign contracts with the NBA and the NFL and compete at a professional level in both leagues. Even though he hasn't played for that long, his 6'5 size and 255 pound weight will make it easy for him to fit in perfectly. Even while he was playing basketball, Vital looked more like a football player than a basketball player. Pete Carroll, the head coach of the Seahawks, has voiced hope over Vital, saying that the player's mental and physical abilities will enable him to make a smooth transition and assist him in learning the game again. Vital was a third-team All-Big 12 selection in 2020 and a three-time Big 12 All-Defensive Team selection. Additionally, he is a two-time semi-finalist for the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year award. However, he is confident in his abilities and explained to KPLC News that he did not make this decision on a whim. I wasn't going to quit basketball just to quit basketball. I had a plan, but I had to make sure this plan was the right one. I am leaving basketball with concrete things on the table. I had 10-day contracts, two-way contracts, and offers abroad. For me to leave this, I had to have something concrete in football. After revealing he was planning on making the transition to football on September 2nd, 2021, Vital signed with the Seattle Seahawks practice squad, but he was released on September 7th. Vital signed with the Kansas City Chiefs practice squad on September 13th, 2021. He was one of the 13 players who signed a reserve future contract with the Chiefs on February 2nd, 2022. Mark Vital signed a two-year $1,575,000 contract with the Kansas City Chiefs, including an average annual salary of $787,500. He was released on July 28, 2022. Unfortunately, Vital never saw any action with the Chiefs. When we consider that only two players in history succeeded in both leagues, Chances are that things will be tough for Mark Vital, but as some of the NBA coaches said back in the day, he has the build of an NFL player. 
He is definitely a talented guy. And he is also fairly young. If he does it, he will be the third man to play in both NBA and NFL. One thing is for sure. People want him to succeed. Obviously, Mark Vidal's presence in the NBA has been relatively insignificant, even though nothing prevents him from perhaps returning to the basketball court in the future. Until then, we wish him the best of luck, and who knows, perhaps his luck will change and he will be successful in the NFL. Thank you for watching. Why not interact with us? Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Full Court.